Yeah. I'll be the only one who has that picture. <laughs> All right. A couple months ago, I was thinking about our graduation and looking forward to it, as I'm sure most of you guys have. And I was thinking about all the changes that are going to be coming up in our life, all the decisions we're going to have to make in the near future. I was reminded of a passage in the Bible. It really applies to us as we go out from right here. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21, Jesus said, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, nor thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. After reading that, I was thinking about it, and I was realizing that our life is an investment. And the way we choose to invest it is going to determine what we reap from it. And everyone will choose. Whether you make the conscious decision to choose or not, the way you live your life is evidence of what you've invested in. And we'll either end up making a good investment or, or a bad investment, and we'll reap the consequences of either one. So we need to consider what our options are and choose wisely. Our first choice would be to invest ourselves into our present, to just live for here and now. As we graduate and go out, our, uh, <laughs> Our accountability to our parents is just going to fade away, become less. And we might think, you know, why not? You know, I'm real, I'm young, I'm invincible. Death is like an unreality. Why not just live for now and party, party it up, just have a good time? But we can't forget the fact that what we do right now is going to affect our future. And the actions we do now are going to have consequences that will affect our future. And we have that option, but we need to make sure we choose wisely. Our second choice, we can invest our lives into our future and live just for our future. In our whole life we've been told, you know, think ahead, plan ahead. And we really need to make sure we're wise and have foresight with what we do in life. But if we're only living for what's to come, we're going to miss out on our life as it's happening right now. And maybe you know somebody like this. Their whole drive in life is just to get a bigger house or, you know, a new sports car or a better stereo system. Whatever it may be that they think is going to make their life and their family's life better. But they miss out on enjoying what's happening right now. And they miss out on enjoying their little kids grow up. Is it a wise investment? We all have to consider. And right now you might be thinking, uh, okay, what kind, of, what kind of speech is this? <laughs> okay, don't invest in my life in now. Don't invest in the future. I guess I could live in my past. Doesn't make you know, that doesn't make any sense. And I, I just wanted to share what I've learned and what I've decided to invest my life in. I've decided not to invest my life in pleasing myself right now, nor in living for my future, but instead in eternity. And you might be thinking, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Ooh, eternity, that's kind of, you know, kind of out there. Ooh, what's that? But, uh... How do you go about doing, you know? I've entrusted my life to God. I've given control of my life to Him. Now I know that my present is secure. No matter how hard the circumstances in my life are, I know I have joy. Because I know that God loves me. My future is secure. God has a plan for my life. He's not going to ditch me and just make me go it alone. And even past that, after I die, I know I have assurance. Not only was my God big enough to take care of me here and now, in my future, He also made a way for me to go to heaven when I die. That was by sending His Son Jesus to die on the cross for my sin and rise again from the grave three days later, and he proved that he was God. How we live our life is how we invest it.
The biggest and most important investment of my life has been to entrust it entirely to Jesus Christ. So we each have to choose for ourselves. What will you invest in? It's up to you to choose. So invest wisely. Norco High, class of 2002. God bless you guys.